you none can compare to you O Lord you are God all by yourself you are the Alpha and the Omega I would like to greet everyone to tonight's Bible study I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus the name that is above all other names that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord to the glory of the Father I greet my pastor, Michael Barrington Bacchus, Patricia Bacchus, Jesse Passard, Heather Barfield, Michael and Melinda Bacchus. We greet the ministers and the leaders of Full Gospel Ministry and all the viewers who are watching today. Welcome to tonight's Bible study. God is about to do a new thing in your life tonight. I will open up in prayer. Father God, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Have your way, O oh God. We invite your spirit to move in this study tonight, to bring revelation to your word, O oh Lord. 
to bring insight and depth to your word in the name of Jesus, that the speaker will speak your word with boldness and the ear will hear your word with clarity. So Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. So let it be. We thank God for tonight reading that is taken from the Gospel of John 19, 26, verse 26 to 27. This topic was with us for the past month now, as we dive in to his word, his word, yes, his word. And his word will bring revelation to us. And here begin the reading of the Gospel of John, reading from chapter 19, reading from verse 25 to 27. And it reads, Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Caiaphas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he, he said to, unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then said to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her into his own home. We give God praise and we give God thanks. Woman, behold thy son. A mother's love, that's the topic. A mother's love. Mary went all the way. I repeat that again. Mary went all the way. She did not hide. She did not run into a cave. She did not go into some area and cry. She went all the way despite of what her son went through from birth to crucifixion she went all the way this mother's sacrifice remind me of the sacrifice jesus and our heavenly father made on our behalf it was demonstrated long before we were even born God had a plan for our eternal destiny he knew that we would sin but yet there was a plan in place that would not cause us to live in eternal condemnation he sent his only begotten son, whom he loved, into a sinful world to die for our sin, that our life can be reconciled unto him and we can live with him in all eternity. He loved us. Jesus went into the garden. He had a choice to make. He could have said, Father, I don't want to go through with this anymore. Find someone else. But he agreed to take our sin all the way to Calvary. Because he loved us that much. That much that he died in our place mary the mother of jesus went all the way 
What leads up to John 26, John 19, verse 26, 17? There were events that took place prior, before Jesus looked at his mother and said, Woman, behold thy son. God does things in order. Jesus went to the garden, knelt there, and cried out to the Father, If this cup would pass from me, he asks, But if it's your will, Father, let your will be done. Jesus was then betrayed and arrested. Yes, he was arrested. They took him to the leaders of that time, Ananias and Caiaphas, the priests of that time. But yet, though you have followers with you, there were one in the midst that was highlighted at that time, Peter. Peter, first denial, Christ. I don't know that man. Then he denied him again when he was tried. Jesus was on trial now. He denied him a second and third time. Finally now, they took Jesus before Pilate. You could call him the judge of that day. To be condemned and to be killed. How can a righteous man that does miracles, that casts out demons, got to this part in his life? The Lord God allow it. He was condemned and Barnabas was released. One who have done horrible things in his time. Jesus was now whipped. He was now crowned with thorns on his head. A purple robe was on him. We are getting close to John 19, 26, 27. Woman, behold thy son. Son, behold thy mother. Mary went all the way. Are you willing to go all the way for your child? Are you willing to go all the way for your child? As we look in today's society, many women, mothers, they are willing to go all the way, but they do not have the means and the encouragement to do it. So they may leave the child abandoned. They may neglect the child in many different ways or form. But Mary went all the way. Jesus was brought before the multitude Jesus was brought before the multitude. But Pilate seek to free Jesus. Do you have anything to say in your defense? But Jesus kept silent. Finally, the Jewish leaders finally rejected Jesus. You can look at that in John 19 verse 15. They finally condemn him to be crucified. The woman at the cross. Who were these faithful women at 
the cross. Why were these women here at the cross of Jesus? while others were not. The women were the mother, Mary, the mother of Jesus, Jesus' mother's sister, Mary's wife, Mary, the wife of Caiaphas, and Mary Magdalene. They were there present at the cross. They went all the way with Jesus. Seeing him whip, see him took the cross, see him hang on the cross and nailed on the cross. There was one disciple out of the 12 who were there. He stood in support and follow the women to the cross, a place called the place of skull, but in Hebrew, Golgotha. He was there standing and supporting Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary may have had flashbacks and recall at that time at the cross the time she spent with Jesus from his birth when he was 12 years old when he was ministering in the temple she came and she she asked him why did you do this to us and he said I'm about my father's business his first miracle at the wedding at Canaan in John 2 verses 1 and 5. When he was with his brothers and sisters, you look at that in Mark 3, 21. Now Mary, the mother of Jesus, is present at her son's crucifixion. Mary recalls the wise words of Simeon that given to her at Jesus' delegation came to pass a sword will pierce your own soul. We look at this in Luke 2.35. She was going through this very prophecy she was experiencing for her own self. Her heart was broken and pierced, but she had family and friends there to console her and to strengthen her. That's why she went all the way. When you have others around you, to console you and to encourage you about your child. You will encourage your child, whether your son or your daughter, to go all the way. Yes. As the story unfolds, who was this disciple that Jesus loved? Could it be John, the one out of the three of his closest inner friends. He leaned on his bosom. He standing by the cross. He ran to his tomb. He followed his risen Lord. He was vanished to the island of Patmos and saw the glorified Jesus with eyes like fire and a sword coming from his mouth. We give God praise and thanks for such dedicated friend that he entrusts him to be the mother, be the son of his mother now while he was dying for our sin 
on the cross. We give God praise and we give God thanks. This disciple accompany her because of the love he had for Mary, Jesus' mother, at the crucifixion. While the others were uncertain that if this be the Messiah, Mary knew that this was the Messiah because of what the angel have told her. But yet Jesus dying on the cross was still concerned that his mother be taken care of in this hour. His earthly father Joseph was already died, but he turned to his disciple whom he loved and said, Behold thy mother. What can we learn about this message from the cross? We must love our family. First, we must love our parents no matter what. Sometimes our parents may misunderstand us. I agree with that or disapprove of many decisions that we make. Jesus had the same misunderstanding with his mother too, but yet she learned to understand him. Parents learn to understand your children, where they are coming from. With the love of Christ, we can heal the brokenness in our family and love our parents more and more as we grow and as we learn. Remember, our parents have secrets that they will may never share about their children to others. Mary had this secret, but she did not share it, what the angel have told in her at her announcement, when he said, Be you bless, you are blessed and highly favored. You will have a son, and this is what he will do. You will be the savior of the world, and he must die. She did not tell anyone. She kept that secret. There are times when we do not keep secrets. Parents, learn to pray and take the need to the Lord in prayer. Responsibility. We are obligated to the welfare of our family. Christ demonstrated this on the cross. In his dying hour, he provided accommodation for his parents, for his mom, especially. His dad was already dead. He provide accommodation for his mother. Our obedience to Christ is first. Our obedience to our family, the work of God and all other things shall be, be done after that. Remember, God first, our family, the work of God, and after that, any other thing. So Jesus demonstrated this upon the cross that we can follow after. I encourage you that we learn to demonstrate these teaching and these lessons that we learn at Calvary. You see Jesus leave his disciple whom he loved, whom he trust. He know that he could take best care of his mother. Let us demonstrate this love in our own family, with our own parents as well. Let us illustrate this and let it become a lifestyle to us too. God bless you and keep you. And one more thing. Jesus' death on the cross was not only to leave his mother in responsible hands. His death was also to give us access to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, to have access to heaven. If you do not know Jesus, 
as your personal Lord and Savior, this is a good opportunity for you to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Repeat this prayer after me. Lord, I'm in need of a Savior. Today, I invite you into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. Forgive me of my sin. I welcome you in to my life as my personal Lord and Savior. According to your word, if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus is Lord, yes, he is Lord. And Lord, thank you for being my Lord and my Savior. If you have said this prayer with a sincerity of heart, Jesus is your personal Lord and Savior. Download the Bible app on your phone. Start reading the Gospel of John and you will experience the love of Jesus that I have just shared with you. God bless you and keep you. Praise the Lord. Luke 6, 38 says, Give, and it shall be given to you. Good measure, press down, shake together, and running over. So you know what time it is? It's time for you to give. And in order to do that, all you need to do is go to our church's website. Go to www.fgany.org. That's www.fgany.org. And when you get to the webpage, all you have to do is click give and it will open up where you'd be able to pay your tithe, your offering, or give to any special ministry that you would normally give to. So don't forget, go to www.fgany.org and give.